This is the scene outside Sal Castro Middle School as well as Belmont High School. Parents as well as siblings of students attending both of the schools just desperately waiting to be reunited with their loved ones. The schools have been on lockdown since the shooting occurred about an hour and a half ago. They have so far not been allowed in. Some of them have heard from the people they love. Others have not been able to get in contact. As you might imagine, the worry is great. Shares the perimeter in between Sal Castro Middle School and uh, Belmont High School. I, I just can't tell. You know, there's more activity on the middle school side of the street, right there on that balcony, if Jamie could push in there, than we see just about any place else. So whether or not the shooting happened inside a classroom or outside is just unclear at this time. That that person there was taken out of the classroom, and here comes another person. So uh, they're not cuffed. They may just be uh, speaking with these people. Maybe they weren't supposed to be in that room. I'm not certain what's going on right now. You're watching it as it unfolds, uh, but they are in the process of at least detaining uh, some people out of that classroom right now. It may be searching for other weapons, uh, maybe trying to take a look and get their obviously their statements as to what happened. Uh, but that's more information that could lead us to the possibility that, that the shooting actually occurred inside that classroom. Only on the top of your screen, you see more investigators are coming in. They're the, the parking there off of the football a field off of Beverly. Um, they will not want student push in there. Do we see any parents that have shown up right on the corner? Tilt up, Jamie. Uh, there we go. Now, this may be parents that are coming to the scene and they're wondering, Boy, boy, you know, those really look like young kids to me. I think uh, just coming out there and that uh, child in the center of the screen, I mean, so difficult for me to guess ages, but I'm thinking 12, 13, somewhere along that line. A couple of the other boys that they've walked away earlier seem to be uh, a little older, uh, but that would be about in the range of middle school. And we can imagine how frightening this must be. Uh, we understand the Associated Press is reporting that you have two students shot and a female shooter in custody. Can you confirm that? Hi, how you guys doing? Yes, yeah, Sergeant Spry with LA School Police, and currently we do have a confirmed shooting at Belmont High School. Oh, Belmont See? High School. Okay. Not at the middle yeah, school. There's, there's a middle school co-located on the on the high school, and the name of the uh, middle school is Salvador Castro Middle School. Okay. Well, which was it where the shooting took place? At the middle school, sir. At oh, the, at mi the middle oh, okay. school. At the middle okay, school. gotcha. And so, Sergeant, uh, as I had mentioned at the top, uh, the Associated Press uh, is reporting from your department, I believe, that two students or people were struck by rounds and you have a female shooter in custody. Can you confirm that? So currently, the, the, there is no further danger on the campus. Okay. Uh, L.A. school police and LAPD are working hand in hand um, in this confirmed shooting. We have a, one suspect in custody and our weapon is recovered. We have two identified victims with non- life-threatening injuries. Well, that's oh, good to know, good. certainly good to know. And they've been transported to the local hospitals? Yes, ma'am. Okay. responded here to the Sal Castro Middle School, which is co-located with Belmont here in the Rampart area of Los Angeles for a reported shooting. Currently, we have a total of five patients. We have a 15-year-old male that suffered a gunshot wound to the head that's placed in a critical but stable condition. We have a 15-year-old female that suffered a gunshot wound to the wrist in fair condition. And then we have a 30-year-old female, an 11-year-old male, and a 12-year-old female all that suffered abrasion. So this remains an active incident. Those numbers may change. We did have firefighter paramedics arrive on scene very quickly. They triaged, transported these individuals to local hospital. And this is Lieutenant Chris Ramirez for another update. Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris Ramirez, and we're currently at the Sal Castro uh, Middle School. Uh, the school is currently in lockdown as we clear the scene uh, and hold this crime scene investigation until further. Uh, we're just making sure there's no additional victims or additional suspects for the safety of everybody here at the school site. Uh, the school will remain closed for several more hours uh, to we can determine the safety of the campus and make sure that we can reunite the students with their parents.
just hoping that it, it has nothing to do with him. I'm just scared for all, any other kid. I mean, I'm glad there's no fatalities, but I'm just scared for all the kids. You know, how, school's supposed to be a safe school, but a safe place for them, and, and apparently it's not.